So here we are once again, ladies and gentlemen, the Gabby Hanna breakdown. What could she have possibly done now? Well, recently Gabby Hanna has been accused of doxing underage fans. Also, Discord messages dug up about her apparently threatening her fans with a lawsuit because they were criticizing her Patreon. <laughs> Damn Gabby Hanna, one word, badass. She has courage to hold grudges with her hypocrisy which left her on crutches. So now she shit scared and threatens people with judges which left us in stitches. Damn. <laughs> Gabby Hanna Poetry Who. <laughs> Alright, how's it going? And welcome back to the Curtis Price channel. Today's video is indeed on Gabby Hanna. Now, as you may be aware, Gabby Hanna has definitely been having a meltdown recently on her Twitter and Instagram lives, asking why kids are afraid of her. They said they're scared right now. Why are you so scared, children? What is so scary about me? Why are you so scared? I am so scared! Is, uh, is this the Blair Witch Project? I'm not a child and I'm absolutely terrified. It's the most scariest thing I've ever seen since I first ejaculated. Oh. What if mum and dad finds out? But seriously, I think it's safe to say that Gabby Hanna is definitely dealing with a lot of mental health issues. And of course, this is very sad to see this happen to someone. But it definitely does not excuse doxing underage fans. Perhaps, Gabby, maybe that's why children are scared of you. Yeah. Maybe. So for a quick backstory, if you aren't aware, I recently made a video on Gabby Hanna breaking her bullshit down into six different parts. Those consisted of her going off on Rachel Oates for fairly criticizing her dog shit poetry. Which Gabby Hanna responded to Rachel Oates by calling her a bully. Which is very strange because didn't you send your book to Rachel purely for the reason for her to criticize it? <laughs> Bloody hell. My left testicle has more brains than you. Oh no, maybe it's just a tumour. She also went after every single YouTuber on the platform and even went after someone for liking a tweet talking negative about her. Calls everyone a bully, but bullies everyone. What? But anyway, here we are today, my wonderful friends, talking about the Gabatron once again. And recently a video has resurfaced, which got her into deep waters once again, where apparently she allegedly doxed a minor. For once in her life, Gabby actually admitted to using a certain website to reveal his IP address. Why would Gabby Hanna allegedly dox a minor? Well, according to Gabby, she thought it was a predator, because she had strong suspicions. Yeah, th that's it. Just, she had suspicions. Kitty Cat 31 I believe you're the most wanted crime lord, and you went into cover and disguised yourself under this username. Yeah, what's my evidence? My amazing intuition, and my extreme clairvoyance. What's that word even mean? Thank you. Um, my breaking point, which... There was this kid, I don't know if you guys saw, um, sweet little boy named Mason, um... And I was so, so, so convinced it was somebody else because of something they had said. Um, and I had them, like, follow me on, or I had them message me on, inst like, Instagram to see the account and then had them click a link so that I could see their IP address and have them send me a video. But then once I got the video, I was like, oh, my God, this video, this person has sent me videos from somebody else before. So I know this person is capable of having somebody else send a video because they're a grown adult who interacts with young children in a way that's inappropriate and um gets like gets them to do stuff for her like send a video being like hey i'm this person like so the video i was like oh, okay but i still can't be sure if it's actually this person and then i asked them to uh click something so i could see their ip address and where they were and then so ladies and gentlemen turns out that it was just a young boy after all even after gabby having suspicions with next to no evidence she tracked his ip anyway aka she had a child's address in her computer now that's not exactly gonna look good in the court of law now is it gabby <laughs> However, I just find it strange, ladies and gentlemen, that she was so quick to suspect this. I understand if there is an account going around taking advantage of kids and using other kids to send videos pretending they own the account. But that does not mean every account on this earth is the person you speak of. It was just a young boy, so what you ended up doing was completely wasting your time. Well done, Gabby. Well done. But somehow, once again, you walked away looking like the bad guy. And that's okay, because some people are really good at being the bad guy. Like me. Check this out. Nova, here's a snack. Thank <laughs> you. 
But ladies and gentlemen, in other news, what could the infamous Gabby Hanna possibly have done next? Well, let's talk about Gabby's Patreon and threatening fans that have opinions with lawsuits. Underage fans, am I dad? And I tell you what, if this video gets 3,000 likes, I will personally sign up to Gabby Hanna's Patreon and review everything on there and release a video on it. But now, ladies and gentlemen, would be a good time to say uh, subscribe to the channel because we're trying to hit 80,000 subscribers before the end of the month. That's what we're aiming for. And I wanted 100k before the beginning of July. So if you could do that, that would be awesome. Smash like as well, of course. And comment for the algorithm because you know I love those comments. And yeah, sign up to the channel membership. And uh, well, yeah, let's talk about lawsuits. <laughs> A fan who actually signed up to Gabby's Patreon had a few things to say about it being unfair. She released a Google Doc giving a fair review of Gabby Hanna's Patreon. Nothing really wrong with it, just a very fair review and criticism. Yeah, Gabby really didn't like that. She can't take criticism. And that's big sad. You need to cool off. <laughs> Okay, you didn't laugh. Well, you're wrong, I'm right. I can see your argument, but to be honest, I don't really care. Anyway, enough of that. Let's read some of these Google documents. Hi guys, my name is Haley, and as you know, I was a mod on the Gabby Hanna Discord server. Up until a couple of weeks ago, I was just a regular Patreon like everyone that needs to be to join the Discord. I paid monthly for a Patreon just because I felt like it was needed to be on the Discord and that Gabby deserved this money. I joined back in July of 2019 under the premise that Gabby Hanna was constantly active on the server and personally talked to each other and every person. I joined her $10 tea on Patreon because it gave access to the writing channel on Discord. Gabby claimed she was active in that channel and read the content posted. Gabby had not talked in that channel since 20th of the 6th, 2019. Damn. Very critical. Disgusting. Gabby Hanna was right to respond is what I would say if I was totally insane. Now once this document was revealed, they added Gabby to a server and for the most of it, Gabby Hanna didn't say anything in the chat. She was just sitting in the chat observing all of these horrible people hating on her. But then, shit went down. She offered everyone flowers and asked them to forgive her. Uh, that didn't happen. Um, this is what Gabby said. Hey guys, I just wanted to give a heads up about the lawsuit. For those under 18, your parents will be contacted. Damn, you have giant lady balls. Threatening kids with contacting parents? You sound like one of my school teachers and they were a literal thorn in my ass. <laughs> it's not about scaring guys. <laughs> It's slander. Slander, more like fair criticism. But whatever you say, Gabby, whatever you say. Then one of the people in the Discord replied this. It's not slander at all if I have proof. All we did was explain our experience on a private Discord and that hasn't been posted publicly on any other platform. And to be fair, ladies and gentlemen, these ex-fans do actually have a point. They just had opinions about how the Patreon was unfair. They were just given fair criticism and explaining their experiences and Gabby Hanna had to come guns blazing with the pitchforks trying to take them down. Kids, by the way. Trying to take down kids. Remember that. Well, I feel like I'm dressed like a shit version of Jake Paul. How can you be a shit version of Jake Paul? <laughs> How does that work? I'm coming in as an adult, giving you guys a heads up. I have your socials, which have IP addresses. Yes. Coming in as an adult, but acting like a child. Did you want me to pick the toys up that you threw at the pram, or do you just want to leave them there? However then, ladies and gentlemen, she went on to ask for a contact email that they control. Do you guys want to give me a contact email that you control? As opposed to like them reaching out to people to get you? Because that's how it works if you don't have a public info. Again, guys, this isn't a threat at all. I don't want to see anyone in trouble. How about we agree not to talk to you or about you anymore publicly and move on? Would you sign papers that hold you to that? Because I'm okay with that. Okay, you guys will need a parent or whoever your legal guardian is to sign it. If you don't want to sign, I'll have the lawyers get it and that's totally fine. You're asking for kids' private emails over sending some screenshots. This is too much. Which I totally agree, ladies and gentlemen. That is way over the boundaries and way too far. Like, stepping over the line extreme. And also, she claims she's not threatening anyone and doesn't want anyone to get into trouble. But literally five minutes ago, she threatened all the kids in the Discord server with a goddamn lawsuit and was told that they were going to contact their parents. It's a massive case of hypocrisy and doesn't make somewhat sense whatsoever. And also, a, a lawsuit over opinions. Really, Gabby? Really? She also called it slander, which is... Not slander. It's an opinion. Criticism. I think that's what it's called anyway. Also, if you do leave a negative comment in this video, just remember that you are slandering me, and I will send a lawsuit after you. And just before you click off, ladies and gentlemen, I want to tell you how much I appreciate you, but first, um, if you want my last video, the Nikki Filippi video, there will be a sponsor in that video to download Raid Shadow Legends, the app, um, which unfortunately didn't get many views, so I would like if uh, more people from this video went over and downloaded the game, just so my numbers are quite high with the sponsor, because i got to be honest, the sponsors, man, they fucking helped me so much. Seriously, 
Uh, I don't make much money sometimes off videos and the sponsors help me a lot and I'm also going to be going on live on YouTube in a, in, in a few days and we're going to be doing some live streams on there and I just want to say to you guys that I fucking love you guys. You are honestly, I, I wouldn't be doing this without you and I know this seems so cringe and everything but just being real for a second like I am I would be lost without this. So without you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. And I fucking love you guys so much. And I read every comment. I try to reply and love heart every comment every time I see them. So if you guys want to leave a comment on this video, I will definitely see it. And I will definitely reply, hopefully, if I if I do see it. But I will, because I just said I would. I, I meant to say I would heart it if I don't reply. I'm joking, baby. Yo, take it, take it. <laughs> She's got it now. She's got it. It's okay. I'm sorry. She's got it. You're mad, bro? Uh, yeah. I said, tell me what you mad for. Uh, you're mad, bro? Uh.